Good morning, everybody. Just got ourselves all ready to go here. We're in uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Just checked the oil, checked the truck, made sure everything was working. And we got to deliver into Chicago as soon as possible today. And then apparently we're deadheading it all the way into Ontario to St. Catharines, which I'm not very happy about, but the load that is there has some very, very nice numbers attached to it, which is gonna make up for it. More than make up for it. So, gotta get ourselves there so that we can get to that beautiful, beautiful load that looks so nice on paper. Hopefully it looks just as nice on my trailer. So let's get going, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get out of this parking lot. This parking lot desperately needs a good scraping. It looks like, oh, this guy's like right in the middle of the driveway. Okay, all right, whatever. That's where you want to park. <coughs> it looks like they uh, scraped the yard uh, early in the morning when there was still, when it was still packed with trucks, right? Because like the main areas like this are kind of clear. Not very well, they're, they waited for the ice to compact down. Now it's all bumpy. That's okay though, but uh, the main areas are plowed through, but most of the parking areas are still covered in snow. And you can tell that they just sort of plowed around the trucks that were there. So they came way too early and weren't able to clear the whole lot because it was full of trucks. If you come at like midday around noon or one o'clock, the parking lot's almost empty and you'll get a lot better job clearing the yards. I don't know who they hired to do that. But obviously someone who isn't familiar with when the truck stop is empty. <laughs> Why come and clear the yard when it's full? Oh, let's see if we can get onto uh, this road here now. I gotta make a left turn. There's a Walmart just off to our right over there. Sure wish we had time to drop in there, but Maybe after our delivery. We have to make sure we get this delivery off first. At least it's a very nice day to be on the road. It's only minus 5 Celsius outside. Much better than being at home where it's minus 15. <laughs> it's only supposed to get warmer from here. By the time we get to Ontario tonight, it's supposed to be plus 4. tollway. I used to travel this all the time, almost every week when I was on dry vans. I was just thinking about that yesterday, last night. I sort of miss those routes going down to the south. I was in Georgia all the time, Mississippi. And now that I'm on flatbeds, we don't have much freight, I guess, in that area. Or maybe they just don't send me down there because they got other guys taking care of it. And they need me to take care of the stuff up here. I, I don't know, but I miss being down there. Yeah, I was actually watching uh, YouTube videos before bed of uh, road rage in America and uh, truck accidents in America. And this one video I was watching was all about accidents in South Carolina. It made me really miss being down there. But work has kept me up here for over a year already. And mostly I'm just in Western Canada and the Northern Midwest of the US already. Usually just Wisconsin, Minnesota, North Dakota. The odd time I'll head to Western Canada through Montana and Washington State, but sort of miss being able to roam a little further. But at the same time, it's nice sticking a little bit closer to my region just so that I can be home a little bit more regularly. Because when I was on dry beds, Man, I was gone for, my average trip was two to three weeks. Even then, even when I was single, before I'd even met Britt, even then it was a little bit long. It was, it's 
especially when you have a, a house, you own a home at home, and you gotta take care of the yard, take care of the house. We've got a lot of work to do at our house now. And now I'm married, and you know, we're trying to have a kid. And once we, uh, once Brent does get pregnant, you know, it'll be nice to sort of be on this road where I'm home usually about, you know, every week. When I used to come through here a few years ago every week, this interstate here, I think this is Interstate 90, right? under construction all the way from Chicago all the way out to uh, Rockport. I believe that's the town name there, right? And it was just brutal. It took them years to complete, but they did it actually pretty quick because, you know, if Manitoba were to take over or take on that big of a project, it would take them 30 years to start laying the concrete. There was a four-lane divided highway from Winnipeg to just south of Ville de Chaine in Manitoba. It's a highway that I traveled a lot while I was in high school and when I was younger. Uh, they had to twin it, and they should have twinned it further, but it was this stretch of maybe 10 miles, maybe. It took them a decade to finish it after they broke ground on it. Ridiculous. But this highway here, what's this? Five lanes across. It is a toll road, so I mean, it's it's got a little bit of extra financial backing, obviously. But I'm sure glad that it's all over and in full use now. Oh, look, I can see downtown from here now. There's the, what is that? The, is it still called the Sears Tower? Or is it called something else? The other one's the John Hancock Tower? Or is, they might've changed the names again. They changed the names every now. I know it as the Sears Tower. It was, used to be the tallest building in the world, right? At least used to be the tallest building in the United States. That was before, you know, uh, Dubai in the Middle East started building buildings halfway to heaven. You know the tallest building in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa? The tallest building in the world right now is like over 200 stories tall. And there's some other prince out in Arabia somewhere who's gonna outdo him and build an even bigger one. It should be done in the next five years or so. It's not insane. From what I've heard, they hire Western engineers to go out there and design these buildings and build them for them, but they have so much money from the oil, right? And that's a topic for a whole different kind of video. I'd like to say it's good to be in Chicago again, but we're in Chicago again, so I don't want to lie to you. A lot of good people here, but traffic sucks. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. This is the good part. It'll get bad yet, I promise. That's a promise I know I can keep.
Well, we just went inside the building here. We're in their yard right now, just maneuvering around. I gotta get into position so they can unload me. I think we went a little further than we thought. I don't know if I passed out for a couple of days or whatnot, but I swear I mean, I, I was going to Chicago. Somehow I ended up in Mexico. Nobody here speaks English. I remember this place. I've been here before. Nobody here speaks English. They're all Mexican. They have like Mexican music playing in the background. Apparently, we're in Little Mexico. At least I don't have to communicate that much. I just got to get them to unload the trailer and sign a bill and then I can go. But I remember this place from last time. So I got to see if I can make it around this little corner here. I don't think I can. Just off to the left. Oh no, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, well, I'll just back out through here. Whatever. If I drove in, I can back out. That's my rule. If I got in here, I can get out. Tell me I can't, watch me. I'll figure it out. Now I got that Mexican music stuck in my head. I need a sombrero. Would that offend them, you think? Or would they actually be happy that I'm embracing their culture? I don't know, you never know these days, it's hit or miss. Fun fact for you though. I'm part Mexican. My mom was born in Mexico on a Mennonite colony there in uh, the province of Chihuahua, I believe. And so she is Mexican. She has a Mexican birth certificate. So I'm allowed to make those jokes. I'm going to make it. Got it. I think we got it. Hopefully we don't hit the fence on the other side. If I was worried about it, I would get it. So we should be quite a ways away. There we go. But yeah, my uh, my dad was born in Paraguay. My mom was born in Mexico. My grandparents on my dad's side and my great grandparents were Canadian. And I believe my great-grandparents on my mom's side were Canadian as well, but for one reason or another, uh, they left Canada for a generation or two before coming back. I'm trying to get myself positioned here so we can get at both sides. So we have to talk as little as possible because I really don't think this guy's gonna speak English. I just wanna make it easy for him. Do you want to know something interesting? Neither of my parents speak Spanish. Neither did my grandparents who brought them there. They spoke German. They lived in uh, German areas of Mexico and Paraguay. So we don't got any Spanish language in our family, but us Germans, man, we're everywhere. <laughs> and we're empty and back on the road. Let's get out of Chicago, shall we? I'm gonna stop at a gym in... Oh, it should take me about four and a half to five hours to get there. It's in a town called Schwartz Creek, I think. Just uh, west of Flint, Michigan. I'm gonna stop at a Snap Fitness there and uh, go in and do some strength training today. Mm, sun's gone down already. And we're here in, uh, what is it, Schwartz Creek or Schwartz something? Michigan? Just west of Flint, Michigan. Everybody knows Flint, Michigan, right? Even us across Canada, we've heard about Flint. Guess I won't be drinking any water around here. I don't have they fixed that already? What was wrong with it? something about the water out here? I don't know. I'll just play it safe and not drink any tap water. There's a snap fitness just down the road here. And they have some parking for me, so I'm gonna go and swing in there real quick. I think I've got about an hour and 15 minutes that I can spend in there. 
can't spend too long because I gotta get to the Canadian border before my American hours of service run out. Just off to the right here, there it is. Snap Fitness 24-7, all right. Here I come, like a boss. Arriving at 91, 36 I just need to get into their uh, little lot here. I think I wanted to take a different entrance. They have a better entrance in the back, but this will work. Oh no, Manny, we're gonna go work out first. Look at this, I actually get some pretty good parking here. Nice, see there it is right on the end there. Snap Fitness. I can't take you in there again, remember their, their rules are no cameras. And it makes sense. So I'll let you know how it was when I get out. Well, I did my back, shoulders, and arms today. Been a long time since I've done that. I can barely lift this water right now. <laughs> huh? 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 I'm just beginning. You just wait. If I keep doing this, and this turns into a proper habit, oh yeah. feels good though. Everything feels tight. I miss that feeling. I had a gym membership way back when. Oh, probably almost 10 years ago already. Feels good to be back in there. All right, let's keep going. We got uh, an hour and 40 minutes to get us to Canada. We have 124 kilometers, so we better, better step on it. Coming up to the bridge to Canada from Port Huron, Michigan to Sarnia, Ontario. I have to pay a toll here. I'm prepared though, I stopped for cash just a little while ago. We stopped at uh, the pilot to grab some fuel in America before going to Canada because fuel down here, fuel down here is so much cheaper. So we'll just pay our fare, go over the fancy little bridge and be back home. Well, sort of. Southern Ontario doesn't really feel like home because home is in Manitoba, that's quite a ways away. <laughs> but it's a big country. So I guess technically I'm home. Drive 2.4 kilometers, then keep right on road to 402. Oh wow, look at this. There's a long line up here just to get onto the bridge. It's actually raining out here. That's a pleasant change. Just gotta pay for the bridge here first. This isn't the border yet. Blue water bridge, it even has blue lights on it. Very nice, as soon as we cross this river, we are officially in Canada. I haven't gone over this bridge here in so long. I miss, I said that today already, right? Or was it, I said that today, I miss my old routes. Maybe I can suggest a request coming out here more often again. Especially for this load that I'm gonna be picking up here in St. Catharines. It's a really nice load. It's got really good numbers. I would gladly come out here and pick it up as often as I can. Where's the center of the bridge? Where is it? Is it right here? Oh, that's French on those signs. Yep, we're in Canada again. What's this sign say? Does it say, welcome to Canada? Yep. Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue au Canada. For all of you French-speaking Americans. Bienvenue. Welcome to Canada, everybody. Are you excited? You feel, oh, potholes, potholes. I should have expected that. Glad I missed those. Man, those things were huge. Take back to Highway 402. Why would they just leave those there? All right, so we have uh, more time on our clock now because Canadian hours of service allows me to drive an extra two hours. 
and I had, get this, I had 10 minutes left on my 14 hour clock when I got to the border here, so just, just in the nick of time. So now I have a 16 hour day in Canada instead of 14, so I have an extra two hours added on. So I can get a little ways down the road yet. I'm not too sure where I'm gonna spend the night. What's beeping? What is that? Oh man. Please activate Amber Alert. Victim is Rhea Rajkumar, age 11. Suspect is Rupesh Rajkumar, age 41. Vehicle is a silver Honda Civic Plate hash ARBV 598. Last known location eastbound 401. If observed, please call 911. That was an Amber Alert. It came through to my phone. Rupesh Raj Kumar, age 41. Victim is Raida Raj Kumar, age 11. Oh, so a father kidnapped his daughter by the sounds of it. Oh, man, I've never had an emergency alert come through to my phone like that. That was freaked me out. I thought something was wrong. I thought I just got back to Canada and the alarms went off. He's back! Quick, get him! No, they're not looking for me. They're looking for some Kumar dude. Doesn't sound Canadian. Uh, Kumar? Raj Kumar? Raj, Raj, Raj Kumar? Raj. Well, Diesel, it's the next morning. We just want to let the good people know where we made it to. 